Hey everybody, John Davis with another tech hack to hopefully save you time so that you can spend it on what really matters. In this video I'm going to show you how to scan something on the go, like a receipt, and have it appear immediately on your desktop at your Mac, even though you scanned it from your iPhone. So let's say you are traveling. Let's say you are in a different city than your main computer, uh, but you took your phone with you. Uh, you've got some receipts that you need to save for either personal or business reasons, and you don't want to stick them in a pocket or in your bag and worry about remembering to take them out and process them when you get back from your trip. Well, this has saved me a lot of time, and I use three main programs with this. Uh, the first is a scanner app on your phone. There's lots of these out there. My favorite is Scanner Pro. Uh, it's about $7.99, I believe, in the App Store, uh, and it's very, very good. Uh, the second thing that I use is Dropbox, uh, something for free anybody can use. Uh, cloud storage is what Dropbox is. Uh, it connects your phone and your computer. Uh, and then the third thing I use is a, an app on the Mac called Hazel. Hazel is a very powerful automation app. It costs about $29. Uh, and what you can do with Hazel is you can make Hazel watch folders uh, on your Mac or in Dropbox cloud storage uh, and Hazel can be set up to do things automatically anytime a file comes into one of those folders and so I'm going to show you how this workflow works right now let's open up my scanner pro app on my iPhone and I'm going to scan something what I want to scan is this right here all right, that's my NBA Finals ticket from last year. Uh, and so what I will do is I will click Save. Now watch what happens when I hit Save in Scanner Pro. This is going to be immediately sent to my desktop via Hazel. So watch this. Save. Uploading it to Dropbox because I have set it up to do so in my Scanner Pro settings and it puts it in the right folder in Dropbox. That's what I've set it up to do. And then there it is on my desktop. And so this is very, very handy because let's say you're traveling like we talked about before. You scan a few receipts. Well, when you get back to your office or you get back to your home and you open up your MacBook or your desktop, they're right there. And if you, like me, keep your desktop pretty clean, then what I do is anytime there's something on my desktop, I know that I've got to process that. So I open my MacBook up. If there's a receipt in there from yesterday or from last week, that tells me I need to do something with that receipt. Uh, again, this all works because of this nice little app called Hazel that you can buy on the Mac. And I'll show you how this all works. Uh, in my Finder, I'll open my Dropbox. And right here is a folder that I've created called Mac Desktop. Okay, I have set my Scanner Pro app on my phone to save everything that goes into it to this folder called Mac Desktop. And I will also show you Hazel. This is the Hazel preference pane. This is where you work in all your uh, rules that you will do for Hazel. Now, what happens when I uh, scan anything through Scanner Pro is it comes right into this folder called Mac Desktop. And I have a rule in there that says anytime there's any file that goes into that folder, move it directly to the desktop. And so Hazel is always watching this Mac desktop folder, even though it's in Dropbox, it can still watch it. And anytime a file goes into that folder, Hazel moves it directly to the desktop. And so since it's in Dropbox, you can save something from your phone anywhere, doesn't matter where you are. And if you save something from your phone to that folder, then Hazel will put it directly on your desktop and then when you get back to your computer you will have it up right there ready to process. Alright, I hope that helps you out. I hope that saves you some time so that you can spend it on what really matters and I hope to see you real soon with another video uh, that can save more time for you. Thanks.